I cannot go in to tell you how much I've seen people change just by looking at their one value. Constant, never-ending improvement. So yeah, all you really have to do is just be better than the person you were yesterday. Through that, there's just unbelievable changes that can happen in your life. Um, it got easier once he kept going. So, a good way to, the growth mindset is basically, if something is uncomfortable, it means you haven't done it enough. He did it enough until he got comfortable. You know what I mean? It's just a great value to have. Same, whatever you find difficult, it just means haven't done it enough. Okay, some of these you won't agree with, some of them you will hate. But I promise you, if you develop these attributes, employers would want to fight for you. You would want to fight for an employer, you know what I mean? But they have to be your core. You have to live by them. Um, one of them, we can actually discuss them individually if you want. It's up to you. So, a definite aim in life. A definite aim, or just a purpose. You know when you wake up with purpose, it's a lot different. Purpose can be anything from uh, I want to feed my family to I want to be financially free by the time I'm 28. It depends. Purpose in life. Initiative. Um, just basic things for employees like, okay, um, okay, let's say, okay, your colleague is running 10 minutes late, but they're meeting, the client is waiting for them in my center. I would want an employee to go in there, use their initiative, set up her equipment so that she can receive that client on time so she can just walk in to the meeting you know what i mean just basic initiative if you're just doing the same thing da, 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 not innovating not using your imagination to make things better you know, i would say develop a nice imagination action a lot of people who i meet in the corporate world love talking they don't like doing so um develop the, just a habit of doing action um something like a task like that was probably if you looked at it, you would be like, oh my god, no way. But once you got into it, you just took action. You got into it. What happened? It got easier. Enthusiasm, pretty straightforward. Like, everything is just fun with enthusiasm. But the next one, self-control. I reckon discipline goes a lot further than enthusiasm. You can be excited for something, but if you're going to perform well at it for 15 years, 20 years, discipline is what will keep you going. Oh, can I wake up when I'm tired? Simple things. Can I... Yeah, it's a skill, discipline, develop it. The habit of performing war. So basically, it could just be, for example, adding value to people. Like, like the best way to actually, if you want, if money is your thing, if you give people more than what they pay for, maybe in value, not in currency, it's, it's an automatic way like to progress. And also, the company is going bust, we have to fire 20 people. Do you think you'll be fired if you develop that talent? No. See what I mean? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> no, as in, are you dull or are you, you know, like, like, we, in all of our employee, employer, like, entrepreneur books, they always say hire someone, like hire sunshine. If you hire, oh dull people then yeah you just need someone to brighten your day you know like you're going you're going to work it's not like and you're at fault in concentration so for example pretty straightforward if you see red don't tell your boss you saw blue just accurate accuracy yeah <laughs> persistence yeah i don't know why but um this universe like this world just favors people who, who don't give up when it's tough you know what i mean so developing persistence is a great attribute to have. Learning from failures and mistakes, definitely. Tolerance and resilience. Yeah, you're not gonna fear competition from the person who just comes in, does the bare minimum, leaves the, the king or queen of the, I'm not paid to do that job, you know what I mean? Like, they're never gonna be your competition. People who can do this test, uh, and under, Three minutes, it puts they're in the top five percent of the population in terms of their learning ability. You know what I mean? But maybe I don't want to hire them. Maybe I want to hire someone super creative who can create the system, which would be better for the future. You know what I mean? Okay, simple way to word your application letters. 
once you develop those attributes and you're know, you know they're your core, I would say, if you want to take a picture of this and use it later, it's up to you. If you word it among the lines of the last paragraph, I would say, if you send 20 firms, 20 applications, I can almost pretty much say you'll get a 50% uh, response acceptance rate. So 10 out of 20 acceptance rate. And obviously, so the punchline is basically, um, you know, you're willing to serve best of your ability. If you honestly don't think you have persistency, don't mention it. It's just a, this is just framework to work with. Just to say your position, the amount of value you add to the company. So basically, it means you have to make your mark, but it's foolproof, like it's rejection proof. But you have to deliver, yeah? This is like... Yeah, serious stuff. It would be nice to test my brain. That's something I've always wanted to do. I was never aware of the of, of it being available to me. Like, how can I ever t test my brain? What will I know, right? Like, uh, what will it tell me? Like, I didn't know there were things like short-term memory and then processing and then, I don't know, a skill? I, I just thought people were born with it. Time to get my brain trained. What's Shami? You ready? Yes. Go! Yeah! Nine, ten, eleven, six, ten, so ten, five, eleven, eleven, eleven.